Welcome coin jammers to another noodling session. We're doing a $2 noodling session today and we're using my husband's amazing coin jam $2 collector's checklist, which has all of the current $2 coins, which is absolutely fabulous and can be downloaded from the coinjam.com.au site, or you can just have a look at it on the site as well. So we're going to have a quick look. You can see I don't have my noodling mat. I'm just using a the table surface today because frankly, we're in the midst of a pandemic and I can clean this table a lot easier than I can a map. mat, I should say. So we have been um, letting these coins sit uh, for quite some time, just in case they do have a little bit of COVID on them, but we're still gonna make sure we wash our hands very thoroughly once we're done. So let's have a look and let's, hope we can get some beautiful coins today now out of your two dollars um, from your just your aboriginal elders we're really kind of after say a 1991 which only came in the mint set maybe a 93 which is about five 2000 2004 2006 no not 2004 six, 2011 and 2012 who am i kidding those guys are kind of the more rare aboriginal elder um, coins but then we're also oh gosh they're a bit tough today we're also looking for our commemoratives obviously the holy grail our red poppy and um, a coronation would be lovely as well but you know we shall see what it brings us so we're just gonna flop through fairly quickly up oh, immediately I can see we have a gold poppy. She isn't a red poppy, but she is just as pretty. Well, I like the non-coloreds. So quite a lovely coin, 2012. She has seen a little bit of wear and tear, but it is just, is what it is. Like uh, most of the, um, most of the commemoratives are about 2 million, but this one is 5.8. So she's not too rare, I'm afraid, but we will keep her cause she's lovely. Okay, smashing through here. So we've got a 2013, no specific errors or anything that we can see. Just PMD there. Now do call out if you do see anything because frankly my eyes are terrible, 1988. As we know, that's when we started. So there are loads of 1998 ones. 1988, did I say? Um, obviously, I think it was about 200 million. No, 160 million, according to my beautiful coinjam.com.au sheet. As a 2013, don't really need, oh, hang on, that one. So we're gonna roll through nice and quickly, see if there's anything worth looking at. 2009. Okay, nothing too obvious there. Can't really see that date. Is that my eyes or is that struck through oil? That's a really funny one, that. No, there it is, 2006. So it is, is a bit weak, but nothing significant. Okay, right. I've got a very dirty Dirty one there. I don't know if my eyes are just absolutely given up. 1998, whee! Uh, no, we're putting that one back. So uh, we got these obviously from, from the uh, coin dispensing machine at the bank. And this is where most of them will go back to because we can't afford to keep all of these coins. It's a nice shiny 2017. It's respectable. So I always, um, at the end of this, go back and check. That's a 2016. Gosh, my eyes really are getting bad. I'm gonna need some glasses. Oh, getting old. Um, yeah, so we always, I always check against my years to make sure there's nothing that is uh, more shiny than the ones I've collected. In my uh, circulated coins, it's 2017 there. I collect um, two of everything and try and make them super shiny ones if I can. So all the super shiny ones will also go over, but frankly, we're looking a bit scrubby here. They're all a little bit, uh, there we go, 2005. 
So jump in if you see anything. Do give us a hoy. <laughs> Tell me if I really do need glasses and I'm missing something completely. It's funny because I'm actually looking at this on the screen um, so that I can see it a bit clearer because it magnifies it obviously, which is awesome. Okay, 2014, nothing special. Well, they're all special. I don't want you to feel left out. Uh, 2009, nothing too wonderful there. 2005, all looking a little bit, a little bit worse for wear. We'll just run through these. I don't think there's anything. Ooh, there's a really shiny one. Nice shiny one. I wonder if we'll get one of the new Jody Clark effigy. No, there's an Ian Rank Broadley. So that's um, the 2019 and that's the, um, the Ian Rank Broadley. So Jody Clark Effigy also came out as well, but to get either of these seems to be quite rare in, in noodling at the moment. Well, ones we've collected anyway. So we'll definitely keep those ones and we'll just kick to the curb the rest of those and let's move on to see if we can find something a little bit more interesting so a lot has happened obviously in the last couple of months we're in Australia so um, we're not on complete lockdown per se however whilst it oh, dropped the lot we are under advisory not to leave the house. Uh, borders have been shut down between states and internationally. So um, it's certainly a different life at the moment. Uh, I wonder how you guys are going. Is, uh, have you been affected? Obviously purchasing of coins is gonna be a, a limited uh, thing right now, which is a shame because I love my coins. But when you don't know when your next paycheck's coming in, I guess you have to be a little bit uh, a little bit more circumspect. All right, now turning him around. Da, 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 da. We have got a Gold Coast 2018 coin. And he's not in too bad, Nick. But that one, the Barobi. Oh, if I bring him up. 2018. Yeah, it is Barobi. Anyway, um, sorry, I thought he was an uncirculated, but he is a circulated, but he's very cute. So we've got the, uh, the growth in the coloured uh, circles there. So we'll definitely keep him. That's our first commemorative. Oh, apart from our gold poppy. Poor poppy. Oh, hello. Although it does look very cool, that one. I quite like the, um, the colour features in that. Isn't it funny how different patterns and different colours just uh, make things beautiful? Okay, I've got a nice shiny one here. Let's have a look and see what sort of date we're looking. 2017, kind of expect it to be a little bit shiny at 2017, but maybe a little bit more than that. So we're just going to boot out some of the, the really awful ones. He's not too bad. Let's see, for 2008. Yeah, okay, we'll keep him. So yeah, so we're all in um, not, not complete lockdown, not like, um, like say for instance, the UK and certainly not like China. Although I think China's coming out of lockdown now, who knows? Um, but there is a, a lot of changes and a lot of things that will change in the economy and, and particularly with numismatics. So if you still love your coins, there's still plenty of ways to get hold of them. If you've got some spare cash and you're willing to, to risk going down to the shops, um, you can do this, wouldn't advise it. Uh, this was done prior to non-essential visits being done. But once you, it's been uh, opened again, it, maybe something that if you can't uh, keep up with your coin collecting this is something that you can do because you don't spend it all it goes back well as long as you don't spend it all once you get it out all right so nothing significant there come on let's oh hello let's see if we 
have anything more. We've also seen an interesting rise in the popularity of, of some specific coins, some of which we've managed to get hold of before things really went to pot. But we've also seen a, a fall in, in sales generally. I'm just gonna move this around. All right. So we can see a lovely red, is that our repatriation coin there? There we go. No, armistice. God, my eyes really are going bad, aren't they? Beautiful. Love the armistice coin. I think that's a really clever design, the armistice coin. Um, and it was uh, about 1.6 million, I think, the armistice coin. Oh, sorry, I'm being really picky at the moment. I'm just gonna move things around so we can see things a bit better. So again, we're gonna quickly flick through, flick through. Just get rid of some of the less shiny ones because unless frankly there's an error that is peeking out that's so obvious on a on a, a coin that isn't in good condition it just ain't worth it it's a nice shiny 2016 there is another shiny 2016 i've been through this before you know when all the 2016 coins were really shiny makes me wonder if someone kept a whole bundle and have put them back in our bank He's not bad too, 2017. Looking good. So we'll just turn these over. Oh, goodness gracious. We haven't got shiny and we haven't got commemorative. Although we're not doing too bad so far. We've got a red poppy, Barobi and an armistice. certainly means that there is no issue in replacing the money I need to replace to take this back to the bank. <laughs> All right, I can see some beautiful shiny ones in there and look at that. Have you guys seen this in circulation yet? That's your T20 World Cup uh, cricket coin, uh, women's cricket coin that's just been released and there's your Jodie Clark effigy. 2020 that's the first one i've actually seen in uh circulation which is pretty cool although <laughs> frankly i'm not going to the shop so kind of ruin it for me um as you can see it's got some beautiful paint with it and if you've seen the card um there's another video on our site with um showing you all of this um it matches the design and it's it's quite a beautiful coin um done in conjunction with the royal mint and woolworths and i love the woolworths coins i think they're just fabulous and a great way for kids and adults alike to get hold of commemorative coins without a huge cost i mean at three dollars for a carded uncirculated coin um, that's pretty cool. And there have been quite a few errors with obviously paint generally, but this one in particular, um, I've seen a couple that have been printed on uh, another coin um, that have popped up, whether they've been photoshopped or not. I don't know, can't tell you. I've also seen um, obviously a misstrike, strike, um, the circle being off center. So keep an eye out for that because it is something that is pretty cool. Oh, exciting. I love getting, love getting new coins. Uh, now we've got another beautiful shiny, lots of fingerprints on that one. And there we go, Jodie Clark in circulation. So that's your 2019 Jodie Clark. Now, if I can, is that 2019? Really should have kept them together, shouldn't I? 17. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I suppose it doesn't matter. Does it? So that's the Ian Rank broadly on the right effigy, uh, Jodie Clark on the left. And Jodie Clark actually um, has done a lot of the effigies on the UK coin, so it's not like she's a newbie or anything. So there you go. So that's moving over to there. So let's just bumble through some of the yucky, revolting, awful, bumble, 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 bumble. Ew. Bumble, bumble. 
Bumble, 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 bumble. Bumble, bumble. So we don't have a huge amount more left in that one, in that pile. I will check them for dates later just in case, but frankly, they're all in pretty crappy condition. There's no commemoratives. Although that one's so bad, I can't even tell if it's commemorative or not. So push those away, damn spots. And move on. So it's actually really good to do a noodle and and do a video because frankly, um, between talking to my husband and my daughter, it hasn't been cutting it. I'm gonna start talking to myself soon. So it's good to uh, actually speak out loud. Pretend you're having a conversation. A lot of people I'm sure are really suffering um, being isolated and being alone. So come join us and be alone together. It's a, a very frightening and bewildering time, but it's certainly lots of things out there that can make sure that we can get through it and we can make it to the other side. So always reach out to someone and make sure you let people know if you're not doing well. $2 coin. Shiny. That's a 2018. We'll keep him for now. He's not perfect. Now looking at all, all these other ones. They're uh they're all pretty pretty icky. So I think we'll just just give those a skip. Alright. Push them away. Push you away. Ugh. So we haven't seen any real cuds, any real soft oil strikes, any great condition coins. Not too many wonderful commemoratives, but that's part of the fun. You don't expect to win the lotto on the first go, do you? Here's a nice shiny. Well, maybe you do, I'm not sure. Oh, again, a 2019, but there's your Ian Rang broadly. I've lost the... Uh, no, I won't show you the Jodie Clark FG again. You've seen it. There we go. If you do like that, it looks like it says mustard. <laughs> I've been inside too long. All right, flicking them over. Here's a nice shiny one too. And a 2016. Because you're so shiny. We'll keep that one. My daughter Bella is sitting beside me thinking I'm going a little bit nuts. These ones are dirty, especially singing songs from Moana. So not looking fabulous on any of these. Oh, hello. No. All right. I'd say that this one has had a very tough life. I have to admit though, wouldn't it look really cool to do kind of art of uh, the PMD done to coins as you come across them. I mean, look at those two. Between the two of them, I think they're pretty cool. Much prefer the one on the left, obviously. But there is a little bit of awesome going on there. Don't want to encourage anyone to deface coins. Obviously, it is a federal offence. But if you come across one, you might be interested in having a look and uh, Seeing what art you can do with it. Maybe that's a new a new uh, thing to do. That's quite a nice one. Is that 2015? Well, there you go. Keep that one. Have a look at my shinies at a later stage. So I've got uh, Bella beside me learning about the scientific method. Introduced her to algebra yesterday. Oh, all right. Well, you're all terrible, so you can all go which was quite interesting. Bella managed to find X. She's only eight, so we're only doing very high level theoretical stuff, but it was fun, wasn't it, Bella? Hey. <laughs> Bella just corrected me to say that she is seven. And yes, this is correct. I have been calling her eight, uh, eight years old since her last birthday. <laughs> know why I'm making her older, but anyway. Sorry, my seven-year-old child, have you been having fun doing stuff at home? 
Well, they can't see you nodding, Bella. You need to make noise. You're usually the noisiest thing in the world. Oh, there she goes. She drops a pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bella. Okay, so nothing on those. Nothing at all. Dear me. All right, we have a shiny, but he seems to have a fly in his beard. All right, you may have to leave the room if you're going to giggle all the time. All right. <laughs> Back to your work. Hey! All right, we got a Mr. Squiggle. Is that is that Gus? There we go, Mr. Squiggle Gus. I do love Mr. Squiggle. I think he is just adorable. I used to watch Mr. Squiggle a lot. I've got to show you Mr. Squiggle, Bella, properly. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So very happy about that. So we've got getting a bit of a variety of coins. Oh. Again, we've got another T20. Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful and shiny. And it's always good to noodle, I think, particularly when there's been new coins out. So we've had, um, obviously, the T20. The last release in 2019 was the police coin. So have a look-see to see if you can find any police. I haven't really seen police in circulation, which is a bit sad because they're a circulated coin. But anywho. Um, and also, oh, hello, come off games. Um, before we go on to that... I'll speak about this one. So this is your other Commonwealth Games coin. So there's two out of the three. Not bad. So we got Barobi. Yay. And we've got, oh, can you see? Excellent. So what do you know? Yes, and also obviously there's been a new release um, at the beginning of the year. Before, well, for me anyway, before the global pandemic decided to uh, get its clutches in, um, was the um, anniversary of the end of World War. Oh my God, end of World War Two or World War One? I? I can't remember how many years it was, so I can't even work it out. Anywho, uh, new coin, uh, March two thousand and twenty, uh, really cool coin, but. It has been released into circulation. Obviously, the proofs and the in uncirculated coins um, have been sold off in C Mint Mark card coins, etc. All of that malarkey. However, none yet seen by me, again, not a shopper, in circulation. And in particular now, not a shopper. So it'd be really cool if we did see one. I like to see it kind of come out in the wash. I see with my little eye another gold puppy awesome and that one to the collection I think the gold poppies um, are missed a lot because it basically is um, well it's the same color so a lot of people I don't think really really notice them which is a shame There's some pretty mucky ones going on there that one you can hardly even tell it's a two dollar coin. Okay, so oh, here's one. Hello, lest we forget. A lovely condition, lest we forget coin. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that well enough? So, according to my coinjam.com.au uh, two dollar coin collector's checklist. Um, this is a 3.98, doesn't have the C mint mark, does it? Can't see it. Uh, my eyes are saying no, let me know if you say yes. Because obviously if it has the C mint mark, it is um, less. So put that in a little coin collecting pile. Nick, 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 nick. Another shiny, lovely. What we got? 2000 and, oh goodness sake. 19, oh, that's, yeah, not keeping that. For 2019, you need to be a lot shinier to stay in my collection. 2013, that's pretty good, 2013, though. All right, let's roll through. We've got some pretty, pretty icky, 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 icky. And do remember that unless it's quite a rare um, commemorative, um, if it really isn't in great condition, keep it for yourself, sure, but it really isn't going to be worth that much because 
there's so much out there that people have collected that again unless it's like a coronation or a red poppy a terrible condition coin just ain't gonna gonna feature much okay so kind of a shiny here 2015 not bad for that age just pick up a few of the nucky nuckies let's get rid of a few of these guys so we're having a very very quick look to see if there's anything wrong with them but for coins of this condition it would have to jump out and slap me in the face to keep them um any kind of errors because people can just get better ones all right we've got a super shiny coming up this one's not shiny and uh, not super but it's pretty good is that 2016 again weird year okay so we got a 2019 beautiful look at the condition of that whoop 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 excellent all right so we've got five rolls left are you sick of me yet um, oh as i said i'm getting my my talk on today oh look at him <laughs> he is beaten and battered i'm surprised the, he even made it into the rolls he's so bad very nice and shiny look at that 2018 wow all right what do we got here another shiny because i'm so shiny another 18. so i wonder if um unfortunately people might start going through their coin jars rather than waiting until christmas and dropping them off just get rid of some nasties he's had a little bit of a scratch Nothing too promising in here. I'll turn them all over so you can see them. But they all look... Oh, hello. Pretty terrible. He's not too bad. Okay. Mm, keep him... Oh, no, we've got to do that. So. And then we've got a, a games circle there. Australian Olympic Games, yeah, it's in 2016, one of the six rings. Nice. I'm just so surprised at the, the range of coins. Okay, so what do we want? I want a Flanders field. That would be awesome. Now, obviously, there's a few that you won't see in here, or if you do, someone's opened the set. Um, and that segment is, um, the Mint also released a, a Tooth Fairy coin, a Tooth Fairy kit. Ooh, there's a nice shiny, there's another T20. Now, if you see one of those in there, someone's um, gone and spent their money through the kit, which is a bit of a shame. As uh, frankly, the kit's just absolutely gorgeous. They are a lot of money to be spending the $2 coin that comes with it. And those should be coming out actually on the carded, um, the carded basis soon. They're supposed to be actually printed in May. The pre-orders were a little while ago. Mm. So not doing, not doing too wonderful here. Let's turn the rest of these over and see what we can find. No, all right. We have three rolls left do, 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 do. spill it out all right can you see any purple or red i can see a shiny that's not a t20 <laughs> 2016 crazy that's another one Okay, if your 2016s, it's going to be really crazy. 18. Okay, fair enough. 
All right, so we'll just have a look. Can't even see that one. It's just so bad. He's not too bad. Is that a 16 again? It is too. Why do you know? I've had enough of you, 2016s. That looked like a, a gold poppy from the back, but it isn't. Don't, 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 don't. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we do have something here. An Invictus Games, not the best nick though, but still not a bad find. Hmm. Well, I do love the Invictus Games. Obviously, they're the, um, the games for those uh, who were injured in service. And there is, in fact, a Braille version of that coin, which I absolutely love. The coins are obviously uh, different sizes uh, for a reason, one of which is to assist with people who are uh, visually impaired, but having a braille coin, I think, is awesome. Certainly does get rid of the entire issue of it. Well, <laughs> nothing ever gets rid of the entire issue of not being able to see, but anything can help, I suppose. All right. A bit of colour flying through there. Let's do a quick flip over. See if you can see anything. No. This gimbal and it needs to go down further, doesn't it? All right. So terrible two, terrible two, terrible two, terrible two. We'll come back to you. Terrible two. Terrible two. Terrible two. Oh, nice and shiny. Come back to you. Not too bad. Two. Two, 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 two. two. All right. So out of that little, little selection, let's have a look. Okay. So we've got our Aboriginal elder. What year? Not 2016. 2018. Well, I still think we've got way too many of those anyway. Okay, 2019 in rank broadly. 17. Not bad, and here we go. Bring it in nice and close. A possum magic. He's not bad. Not best, but hey, she'd be colour. She'd be pretty. Here we go. And 2016, we'll get rid of that because frankly, we've had way too many. Okay, so last, last coin, last roll. And bring it home. Oh, all right, I can see some, see some color already, which is pretty cool. All right, my gimbal's given up. I see no purple hands on this. Oof. Okay, so let's flick them all over. So we've already got an armistice, which is great. So that's our second armistice coin. I'll put that one over there. Break it down. No. So being pretty ruthless here. It's funny because as a general rule, anything that is really dirty and beaten up anyway, probably won't be one of the coloured commemoratives because they'll be too recent. That is not always the case. People mistreat their coins. 2017. Yeah, I don't really need you. I haven't got enough in there. 2006. Wow, we've got a lot of 2016s. Well, it doesn't look as though we came across any jackpots today, so we're still going to have to not go to work, which is unfortunate. Now, obviously, remember with COVID or Corona, you do have to be careful when handling. Oh, look what we got. Nah, and I thought it was all over. It's a changeover. Excellent. Can you see that clearly enough? Now, I love these. Now, the dollars um, of the changeover are obviously 
going um, quite nuts, which is um, which is funny. Well, I suppose not funny, really. It's it's just that they're lower mintage. The two dollars is still very very popular. Um, just less than three million of those, but not as popular. But there you go. I like them. Again, there you will get them because people can't see them. So there you go and a terrible coin. Anyway, so be careful with um, handling anything, your phones, um, money, things that go outside with you. Uh, make sure you wash your hands afterwards. Give your phones and stuff a wipe down after you've used them. Make sure you be careful. Stay away from anyone if you are sick. So guys, Thank you so much for joining me in a much needed coin noodling session. So remember you could have your coin jam $2 coin collectors checklist from coinjam.com.au. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm hoping that we will be able to do this um, more often, but I don't think it's likely. I think it's gonna be a while until we can get back to the bank and get some more coins because it isn't something which is an essential thing. We do have some, some more in the sidelines that have been sitting there for a while, but once that's gone, that's the end. So we did pretty well. We've got a, quite a few commemoratives there. Not bad at all. And we've got quite a few shinies. But when you consider it in the mound of what was, it's not a huge amount. But that is half the fun. If you got them all the time, it wouldn't be as fun. Enjoy, stay safe, and we'll speak to you very soon, Coin Jammers. Thank you for listening.